Hello everyone. So for today's video, I wanted to try something different. The last four videos, I think it was the last four videos, I've done very similar looks, very pink, which I love a very pink, orange, red look. Um, but today I wanted to try something completely different. I want to go for a more chocolatey brown, uh, milkalicious moment going on and see what happens. I also, like the last video I posted, it wasn't pink, but it was very very colorful and that was the um Jaclyn Hill palette and I really really like that look but I've been wanting to try something um different like something brown so we're here so let's just get started I already did my makeup face as you can see very routine like I said in my other video I use the same products because I love them uh sometimes I switch it up a little bit but for the most part, everything is the same, but I will list the products that I use on the description box if you guys care for that. All right, so let's just start. I did go, <laughs> I went to Walmart the other day. I was looking for the new Perfusion palette and I cannot find it anywhere. And I don't wanna order it online. Last time I ordered something online from Perfusion, like both of my palettes were broken and it wasn't a huge deal, but I do want when you know when you buy something and when you're at the store if you see something that's broken just even one eyeshadow palette you don't buy it right you, you grab the one that is perfect that's nothing wrong with it and that's kind of what I want this time and I did I thought about ordering it online but I just don't want that to happen again so I didn't find the profusion palette but I did find other things and course I don't need more makeup but I just can't help myself I always have to have new makeup and it's not expensive but I did find this new wet and wild multi stick this is in the color um what is this they have so many I think they had I don't know how many they had honestly but this is called chocolate cheat day and it's such a beautiful very true brown and this is what I'm going to be using for the eyes and I also have a gold I have this gold right here they're very very creamy and this gold is just absolutely beautiful I'm not going to be using the gold one today but I am using the um the brown so let's just go in with this and add it all over my lid I already I actually didn't prime my lids today the concealer that I use under the eye is the same like I kind of grabbed it with the with the uh, blender full right here and then just grabbed it up a little bit like so and I did use the blender full to apply my foundation and concealer today and I really like the way it looks all right so let's just go ahead and apply this all over the lid and then with my finger, I'm just going to smooth it out. It's very creamy. Oh my gosh, that is very pretty. It blends very nicely just with my finger. Wow. grab a brush like this it has like a flat top like so and I'm just gonna buff that in and bring it up a little bit and I'm gonna grab a little piece of paper like I always do first I'm gonna clean it up a little bit sharper than the other one. It's fine. 
a profusion brush that comes with some of the palettes, not all of them. And I'm just gonna grab that and blend it. That is so beautiful. I love the way it feels. It feels so smooth and so buttery. And it's so easy to blend. Also, if you don't have this, you guys, you can use lipstick. I have, I have used lipstick in the past for my base, and it works just as well. I feel like this one is so much better to blend though. And actually, you can use this as a lipstick. I mean, it's a multi-stick lipstick. Let's see. I might just use this for my lipstick today. Obviously, I have to fix it, but you get the idea. Now, I'm gonna grab the Tati Beauty palette and I'm gonna go in with Soothe right here with another clean brush. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that and go right above the, not above the crease, but on the crease, right above the brown, and then kind of just blend those colors together. And now for the shimmery part, I'm gonna use the Tarte Pro Remix Palette. This palette is so, so beautiful. Look at that, it's amazing. I have not tried this on my eyes. I have swatched them, but I have not used it. So I feel like this would be the perfect time to use it. And I'm gonna grab this one right here. This is called Spin. And I'm just gonna grab it with my finger and add it right on the center of the eyelid, kind of doing like a halo kind of a look that is so beautiful just adding like a hint of light to the center of the lid this one again with a perfusion brush. I'm just going to go on the inner corner just to kind of darken this area. And on the outer corner. I like it and that was super fast and super easy. I really do like this. Very simple. I'm gonna grab a brush like this and I'm gonna go in with the same uh, Tati palette. I'm gonna grab Ritual, this deep chocolate brown, and I'm gonna add that on the lower lash. Now I'm gonna grab Soothe and put it right underneath that brown. Blend those two colors together. For the inner corner highlight, I, I think I'm gonna use the Tati Beauty. I was thinking about using the inspiration right here where is it right here and i feel like it's too light for this look i want something a little bit more golden and i don't know maybe i want to use a highlighter i feel like the master chrome highlighter would be a good option i think i'm gonna try this instead not the tati i'm gonna try the master chrome this is molten gold and with a brush, I'm just gonna add that on the inner corner for top. Ooh, that is a highlight right there. I love this highlighter, it's so good. Yeah. With 
the same brush, I'm gonna clean that, make sure there's nothing there. I do wanna grab the, the spin and add it right on the center of the lower lash. Like so. You can't really tell on camera, but I can tell. I don't know, can I? Maybe with my finger, just a little bit. And I think I'm gonna use this as my eyeliner too. Why not? Let's try it. For mascara, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic. This one is one of my favorite mascaras just because it's very um, inexpensive and it really does lift your eyebrows up. But, you know, like I said in the past, I really, mascara doesn't really matter to me as much because uh, I always use eyelashes and today I'm going to be using the Ardell Wispies eyelashes. These are so beautiful. So. Let's get to that right now. eyelashes are on and it really makes a huge huge difference I need to add up more of spin and I'm just gonna add it again right on the center of the lid just for an extra pop you guys know I love shimmery stuff I feel like I added way too much of that highlight right here so I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of the brown to cover it just a little bit and where is my brush? Just gonna grab a skinny brush like so and just gonna blend that in. I wanna do it on the other side too. Alright, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera and I'll be right back to add lipstick. I still don't know what kind of lipstick I want to use. Maybe I'll use this one. I don't know. Maybe I'll use a different one. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm almost done. I just need the lips and setting spray and I'm going to use the LA Girl Ultimate Lip Liner. This is in the color uh, Keep It Spicy. It's a very beautiful brown. Let me see. I'm going to add it right Oh no, it broke. Okay, it's very, very soft right here. Very beautiful, very soft, and let's just go in with it. And I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna fill in my lips with this whole thing. I'm not just gonna line it. I'm gonna use it as a lipstick as well. That is very pretty, very matte, very brown. I really like it. Okay, so right now all I need is my setting spray and mascara on my lower lashes and I'll be right back with the finished look. Okay, so I had to change the lipstick because it was way, way too drying and my lips were looking crusty. 
So I do like the color. I, I'm still gonna use it just as a liner and then I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty. This is a, this is called Bore Meeting. Such a beautiful, beautiful color. Very nude, but still brown. So I'm gonna go in with those two. So much better, a lot creamier, very comfortable even though it's matte. It's very, very comfortable and very smooth, very silky. Love it. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Very simple, I had no trouble blending the eyeshadows. And this little stick right here, you guys, is so amazing. I did look online and it looks like they have 13 shades. And it's $3.99. I got mine at Walmart. On the website, it's $3.99. I cannot remember how much I paid at Walmart. Probably the same price, but oh, so good. So smooth, so silky, and so easy to blend, too. And this palette right here, my first time trying it, even though I only tried one shade, I really, really do like the way this look turned out. It's it's very simple. It's very brown. It's exactly what I wanted. And a change from all the pinks and cranberries and reds and very bright colors even though I do love bright colors also I do want to mention too the if you're anything like me like if you want this area to be just a little bit lighter than the rest of your face I've been using the Tati Beauty palette and I've been using um, the aura right here just very lightly with a brush any fluffy brush that you have I actually use an e.l.f. Is it e.l.f.? No, it's um, it's a, yeah, it's an e.l.f. brush and just very, very lightly grab it and then go right on this area and it's going to make this area look very, very light. That's just the way I want it. Um, and I also added some on the brow bone. So yeah, that's it you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!